Assalamualaikum and a very good day to all of you. In this video, I'm going to share two basic cutting processes which is filing and chiseling. The first process is filing. This is a type of basic cutting process to remove excess material from a piece to achieve the desired dimension or surface finish. This process utilizes a tool called file that is a hardened piece of steel with a slanting row of teeth. The files are classified according to its size, second, a shape or cross section, next, the cut of teeth, and lastly, the coarseness of teeth or referred to grade. The first classification which is the size. Uh, the size of a file is indicated by its length, the nominal length of the file. For rough work or activities, the length is between 200 to 450 millimeters. For finer work or activities, the nominal length is between 100 to 200 millimeters. Uh, the second classification of file is according to its shape. First one is flat file, which is used for general work and for filing flat surfaces. We have the square file, uh, which is indicated by its cross section. This uh, type of file is used for filing square corners and slots. Next, we have the triangular file. Uh, this type of Files is for filing uh, square shoulders or corners and for sharpening wood working saw. As shown in the video here, the triangular file can be used to sharpen each tooth of the saw one at a time. Next, we have the round file which is used for filing inner surface of holes, round-ended slots and many more. And last, we have the half round file. A half round file features one flat side and one rounded side. Both sides can be used for filing purpose. The flat face is for filing flat surfaces. And the curved face is to create a curved path on the workpiece surface. Classification of files is according to its teeth pattern. One is single cut teeth. The teeth are cut parallel to each other across the file surface and uh, usually is uh, designed at an angle of 60 degree to the center line of the file. This type of file is usually used for filing hard metal. We also have the double cut teeth file. This type of file uh, has two sets of teeth. The first set are similar to those, single, uh, to those of single cut file, uh, while the second set of teeth are cut diagonally across the first set of teeth at an angle about 50 to 60 degree to the center line. And um, by using this file, uh, it will uh, remove material faster than the first one and is always used for general work. And the following classification of files is according to its grade. Grade of a file is determined according to the coarseness of the teeth, the number of cuts or notches per centimeter of file length in the direction of the axis is known as the cut count. And the higher the cut count, the smaller the cut spacing will be. Let's look at how the grade of the files is referred to. The first grade is rough file, which is used for removing more quantity of metal in less time. At the same time, uh, the finishing of uh, the workpiece is very rough. 
busted file is used for general or ordinary filing purposes. Second cut file is used for uh, good and fine finishing purposes. Next, we have the smooth file, which is used for removing less material and for giving good surface finishing. And last, we have the dead smooth file, which is used for high quality finishing. And this type of file is uh, usually used as the last process of surface finishing. The grade of a file can also be determined according to its number of cut. The lowest number is for roughest uh, filing work up to 5 uh, which is referred to the uh, smooth and accurate surface finish. And this grade numbering system is also referred to Swiss reference. To decide on which uh, type of files to be used for your uh, surface filing work, uh, there are several factors that you can consider. The first one is the nature of work. Um, either it is a flat surface, concave, convex, notch or other type of surface, the kind of material of your workpiece, the amount of material to be removed, and the intended surface finish and accuracy that you intend to achieve. The step to using a file is to make sure that your workpiece is firmly secured. Here I'm demonstrating proper technique for using a file. Notice that the file is only in contact with the stock on the forward stroke and that each stroke also moves sideways across the stock. This helps prevent the creation of low spots or divots. I'm applying an even amount of downward pressure with both hands. Here's an alternative technique called draw filing. This technique is great for making finishing cuts and for creating nice, square, flat edges on a piece of stock. Draw filing generally leaves a finer finish than regular filing, but isn't as quick to remove material. After every few minutes of work with your file, you'll need to use the file card or a paintbrush to clean out metal chips from in between the teeth of the file. This helps ensure that you get the best surface finish possible. In addition to rough stock removal, files are also great for deburring work pieces. The best files for deburring are smooth, single cut files. Here I demonstrate the technique for deburring a work piece quickly and easily. It's also good to remember that files aren't just useful on metal. Here I'm using a round file to cut a round notch in a thin piece of G10 composite sheet. From the video, it can be summarized that for uh, filing method, the first step of filing procedure is to make sure that your workpiece is firmly secured to the table clamp. The file need to be held at both ends and parallel to the workpiece surface. Third, um, use a forward stroke um, to draw the file across the surface of the workpiece. Each of the stroke need to be moved sideways. Apply even amount of pressure along the surface. The operator also shares a method of filing which is called the draw filing uh, which is to obtain a final finishing of the workpiece and then after a while of using the file we need to clean um, the teeth from chips and dust before continuing the filing process files also can be used to deburr work edges from uh, chips and finally, besides surface finishing, files can also be used to create contours. In the video, the operator has demonstrated uh, creating a half round notch using round files. Maintenance and care of file. Files need to be kept clean 
with a special wire brush called a file cut. Alternately, we can also clean files using a, a stiff brush, especially for a finer grade file, so as not to damage the teeth. And we need to keep the files in its uh, assigned location or rack so that the teeth uh, will not be damaged. And uh, we also uh, need to consider and select a suitable file type for the work operation. Accident prevention during finding process. We need to check the file to make sure that the handle is securely attached to the body. Never use a file without the handle. Do not lay the file down on the edge of the workbench and be careful not to knock the file handle against the work. This uh, will damage your workpiece surface. And lastly, do not blow file dust away from the vise because it may get into eyes uh, of the operator and people around. The next basic cutting process is chiseling. Chiseling is a process uh, on a material using a sharpened wedge shaped tool which is called a chisel. Chisel can be used either to separate work uh, which is to split or divide work pieces without removing chips or to make rough cuts. There are several types of chisels. The first one is the flat chisel which is used to cut flat surface to separate and to deburr workpiece. Next, we have the cross-cut chisel, which is used to chisel keyways or flat bottom grooves on the surface of a workpiece. Next, we have the half-round chisel that has a semicircular cutting edge, which is used for making narrow channels on the workpiece. The diamond point chisel is used to make a V-shaped groove or to carve a sharp corner on the workpiece. During chiseling operation, when clamping the workpiece onto the vise, make sure that the cutting line of the workpiece is flush or slightly uh, higher with the stop edge of the vise. Position the chisel 45 degree to the sheet to optimize the shearing chisel operation. To maintain a chisel and make it long lasting, uh, always maintain a correct cutting angle during chiseling operation. Next, do, uh, when sharpening the chisel with grinding wheel, always hold the chisel so that the cutting edge points in the opposite direction to the direction in which the wheel is turning. That's all for now. We'll see in the next video for other basic cutting operation. Thank you very much.